I don't owe estate tax right now. You're not going to owe escape tax, Mom. She wasn't talking to you, Cornface. All right. I've taken a look at your husband's revocable trust and last will and testament, and I've come to a conclusion. It appears, under that agreement, that you will have... I object. I move to carry. Am I doing that right? It appears the marital deduction will help you avoid paying estate taxes for now. Well, Steve, in that case, are you married? I just came into a very large sum of money. I overrule. Ooh. Sorry to interrupt, but I think I can help. Internal Revenue Code Section 2056 provides for a deduction from the decedent's estate for the full value of property passing from a decedent to his or her surviving spouse. The coordinated use of the basic exclusion amount, which I previously mentioned on death and taxes, is $11.4 million for 2019, and the marital deduction is the foundation of a typical estate plan, commonly referred to as a two-trust or AB trust plan. This is where one trust is funded at the death of the first spouse, with an amount equal to their available lifetime exemption amount bypassing the survivor's estate, and the remaining assets going to the surviving spouse. You can learn more about estate planning, the archive of BKD's December 2018 webinar on wealth transfer strategies for families, where Holly Ponzer and Susan Jones also discuss planning considerations after tax reform. Check it out on bkd.com slash simplytax.